On a stormy November night in 1971, a mysterious man known only as D.B. Cooper leaped from a commercial airplane into the darkness below, clutching a parachute and a bag filled with $200,000 in cash. With nothing but a shroud of anonymity, he vanished into thin air, leaving behind a perplexing enigma that has captivated the world for decades. In November 1971, a man using the alias Stan Cooper boarded Northwest Orient Airlines Flight 305 from Portland, Oregon, to Seattle, Washington. Little did anyone on board know that this seemingly ordinary passenger was about to orchestrate one of the most daring heists in American history. Mid-flight, Cooper passed a note to a flight attendant, revealing that he had a bomb. His demands included $200,000 in cash, four parachutes, and a fuel truck standing by in Seattle. With an eerie calmness, Cooper's plan unfolded. Authorities complied with his demands, providing the ransom and parachutes. As the plane approached Seattle, Cooper instructed the crew to dim the lights and depressurize the aircraft. Over the wilderness of Washington State, he opened a rear stairway door and parachuted into the night. Carrying the money and wearing a parachute, the plane landed safely, but Cooper had vanished, setting in motion an enduring mystery that continues to captivate the world. The legend of D.B. Cooper was born that night, leading to an exhaustive manhunt and countless theories, yet his true identity and fate remain unknown. This audacious hijacking stands as one of the most enduring mysteries in American criminal history. So, what evidence did D.B. Cooper leave behind and how has it contributed to the enduring mystery surrounding his identity and fate? The discoveries made in the years following the hijacking have provided tantalizing but inconclusive leads for investigators and armchair detectives alike. One of the most significant pieces of evidence is the decaying packages of ransom money found along the Columbia River. These bundles, totaling $5,800, bore serial numbers that precisely matched the ransom money handed over to Cooper. The discovery in 1980, made by a young boy named Brian Ingram during a family camping trip, added a layer of intrigue to the case. It suggested that Cooper may have buried or stashed the money during his escape, inadvertently allowing it to be gradually exposed by the elements. However, the location of the money's discovery remains a puzzle in itself, as it was found miles away from Cooper's presumed parachute landing point. Intriguingly, investigators found fingerprints on Cooper's tire left of behind on his plane seat. This suggested that Cooper had come into contact with the tire during the hijacking. However, to their frustration, these fingerprints did not match any known individual in criminal databases. Deepening the mystery further, the tie, carefully left on the plane, indicated a deliberate act, raising questions about whether Cooper was a seasoned criminal or a meticulous planner with a keen understanding of the importance of leaving no clues behind. Furthermore, investigators encountered frustrating setbacks. Cigarette butts were found on the plane, possibly left by Cooper, but unfortunately, they were lost during the initial investigations, leaving no chance for modern forensic analysis. One of the most bizarre twists in the case involved a deer hunter who came across a mysterious how-to manual on opening a Boeing 727 in the woods. This puzzling discovery hinted at the possibility that Cooper might have had assistance or knowledge from an unexpected source, possibly someone with insider information about aircraft. Yet, despite these tantalizing clues, the true identity of D.B. Cooper and whether he survived his perilous descent into the wilderness remain frustratingly elusive. The mystery persists, challenging the investigators and captivating the imagination of those who seek to decipher the enigma of this audacious criminal who vanished into the night. This theory paints a grim picture of Cooper's fate. Following his audacious escape from the hijacked plane, advocates of this hypothesis argue that Cooper's choice to parachute into the remote, wooded areas of the Pacific Northwest during a stormy night was a perilous gamble. The region's unforgiving terrain, characterized by dense forests, steep mountains, and unpredictable weather, presented an extraordinary challenge for even the most experienced outdoorsman. 
Proponents of this theory emphasize the extensive search efforts that followed the hijacking. These searches, carried out by law enforcement and volunteer teams, scoured vast swaths of wilderness but yielded no conclusive evidence of Cooper's whereabouts. Despite the massive manhunt, no remains, personal effects, or significant traces of Cooper have ever been discovered. Furthermore, the harsh conditions of the wilderness, with freezing temperatures, heavy rain, and dense vegetation, would have made survival without proper gear and provisions exceedingly difficult. This theory posits that Cooper may have succumbed to the elements shortly after his parachute jump leaving his ultimate fate shrouded in the mysteries of the vast Pacific Northwest. This theory portrays D.B. Cooper as a criminal mastermind, who not only pulled off a daring hijacking, but also orchestrated a flawless escape plan. According to this hypothesis, Cooper meticulously planned every aspect of his getaway, leaving no room for mistakes or clues that could lead law enforcement to his whereabouts. One key element of this theory revolves around the stolen money. Proponents argue that Cooper may have chosen to utilize the ransom funds not for extravagant living, but as a means to establish a new identity. By creating a false identity and obtaining the necessary travel documents, he could have left the United States undetected. The absence of hard evidence tying Cooper to a specific location or identity allows this theory to persist the idea of Cooper living out his days in a foreign country adds layers of intrigue to his disappearance. It suggests that he might have chosen a destination far from the reach of American law enforcement, making it exceedingly challenging to trace him. This theory thrives on the notion that Cooper's criminal acumen extended beyond the hijacking, encompassing a carefully crafted plan for long-term evasion. His ability to seamlessly integrate into society under a new identity is a testament to the depth of his planning. This intriguing theory suggests that D.B. Cooper had access to inside information, possibly through connections within law enforcement agencies like the FBI. Proponents argue that the hijacking was executed with a level of precision and knowledge about the aircraft and law enforcement procedures that goes beyond what an ordinary criminal would possess. They suggest that Cooper might have been privy to classified information or had assistance from someone within the FBI who helped plan and execute the heist. One critical aspect of this theory is the mysterious disappearance of key evidence, such as the cigarette butts found on the hijacked plane. These cigarette butts, believed to have been left by Cooper, were initially collected but somehow got lost during the early stages of the investigation. This loss of crucial forensic evidence has fueled suspicion that there might have been an intentional cover-up or interference within the investigative process. Supporters of this theory speculate that individuals with inside knowledge could have tampered with evidence to protect Cooper. Additionally, the theory suggests that the lack of aggressive pursuit of suspects within the FBI might indicate a reluctance to investigate the possibility of internal involvement this reluctance could be interpreted as an attempt to shield the agency from scrutiny or to protect individuals with insider knowledge. Richard McCoy was a former Green Barrett and helicopter pilot who came under scrutiny in relation to the D.B. Cooper case. He gained notoriety when he successfully hijacked a commercial airplane. In April 1972, just a year after the D.B. Cooper incident, McCoy's physical resemblance to the composite sketches of Cooper and his experience as a military parachutist led some investigators to consider him a potential suspect. They theorized that McCoy might have used his knowledge and skills to carry out both hijackings. However, McCoy's connection to the D.B. Cooper case remained circumstantial. He was eventually captured and killed in a shootout with law enforcement after the 1972 hijacking. Robert Rackstraw a former army paratrooper and explosives expert, emerged as a suspect in the D.B. Cooper case due to his military background. 
and the skills he possessed. Rackstraw was known to have made cryptic statements that some interpreted as admissions of guilt. His familiarity with parachuting and explosives led investigators to consider him as a potential match for the hijacker's profile. However, much like other suspects, the case against Rackstraw lacked definitive evidence. He was thoroughly investigated, but conclusive proof of his involvement in the hijacking was never established. The case of D.B. Cooper, marked by a daring parachute escape over the Pacific Northwest and the baffling disappearance, remains an enduring mystery in American criminal history. Countless theories and suspects have emerged, but the true identity and fate of the hijacker elude discovery. From the possibility of a tragic end in the wilderness, to the notion of a criminal mastermind living under a new identity, various scenarios have been proposed. While some suspects had compelling backgrounds, concrete evidence remains elusive, and the loss of key clues, like the cigarette butts, has fueled speculation about potential cover-ups. D.B. Cooper's legend persists as an enigma, symbolizing the enduring allure of unsolved mysteries, where some secrets may never be revealed. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. All support is appreciated, and have a good day.